Hi, this is Jay Philip Ferranda, broker and owner of Jay Philip Real Estate, and I want to go over with our viewers, followers, friends, colleagues, the state of the market from the point of view of days on market. And the reason I'm looking at the days on market instead of the sale prices is because the sale prices don't tell the full story. It don't tell as nearly a complete a picture as the um, time it is taking for homes to sell. Um, first of all, I uh, hope everyone understands while there is an enormous amount of possibly clickbait type news articles about there on market data and the slowdown and uh, the ramifications of rising rates, etc., um, we still remain in what I consider a balanced market. It has cooled off, but it was overheated. It could not last that long. So I'm going to spend hopefully under 10 minutes giving you like Westchester and Putnam County primarily the uh, the lowdown on where we are from uh, days on market because I think that tells a clearer story. So first of all, in the first quarter of 2022 of this year, the days on market in Westchester for single family homes sold was 31 days. In other words, it took 31 days median time for a house to go on the market day one until day 31 where it was under contract with a buyer. Putnam County was 41 days. So 31 days on market in Westchester, 41 days median uh, in Putnam County. Now, that goes quickly to 15 days on market in Westchester County in the second quarter and 25 days on market in Putnam County in the second quarter. Now, how could how could that be? You know, why did the, the number of days on market get cut so dramatically? Well, we need everyone to understand that even though it was a crazy busy market, there is a market cycle. And many of the closings that occur in the first quarter are deals that were prom that were promulgated in the cyclically slower holiday type season and in the winter. So if there's going to be a slow season, if you will, it's going to be around Thanksgiving, Christmas, January, and so forth. And that's when the bulk of the contracts are signed that close in the first quarter. So that raised the days on market compared to the rest of the, uh, the rest of the year, but still very robust, very healthy. You don't compare the first quarter to the second quarter. You compare the first quarter of 2022 to the first quarter of 2021. And it was lower, historically lower. In the third quarter, um, again, days on market in Westchester was 18 and in Putnam County, 27. That's still super fast time on market. But again, that look back is usually 60 to 90 days prior and that was before interest rates started to rise. So where are we starting to see the downstream effect of rising rates affecting our market? Well, we are seeing it in the listings that are currently pending. The listings that are currently pending sale in um, Westchester County, 32 days on market for pending listings. That is... Um, quite a significant slowdown and 43 days on market in Putnam County. So what does this mean? That means houses are taking longer to sell. Are values cratering? Well, no. Uh, they're certainly going down a little bit in the western part of the country on the west coast and we usually see that kind of migrate, mig migrate east. But right now, values by and large are holding steady. So time on market, though, is a little bit longer. Rates rise, buyers wait, take a wait and see attitude. It takes a little longer to figure your stuff out, uh, figure out your, your uh, buying power with higher rates, and um, consequently, the time on market rises. This does put sellers in a position where they want to be more attuned to price 
and presentation than they have in prior years. So pricing it right and presenting and staging and making sure you accept uh, all reasonable requests to show your property are more important now than they have been in at least two, three years. Okay. So when we look at active listings, listings that have not sold yet, now the number really rises. Active listings are 62 days on market in Westchester and 54 days on market in Putnam. Historically speaking, 50 and 60 days on market is still considered a seller's market, but it is not nearly the seller's market that we were seeing a year ago. In fairness, it is also not remotely close to giving the buyers the leverage they enjoyed 10, 12, 14 years ago when we were in uh, the Great Recession and the ensuing recovery. What this all points to essentially is that we are entering what I would consider a balanced market. Returning to normal where if it's priced right, it'll sell. If it's overpriced, it won't sell. Buyers are going to be able to do their uh, more common type of typical due diligence. They are not going to be bent over a barrel the way they were before with waiving contingencies and being subject to uh, you know, bidding wars on every single property that they look at. It also means that the buyer herd has thinned. These are not the best circumstances for sellers, but they are normal circumstances. So it's no longer Candyland. The crazy historical, overheated, cartoonish market had to end at some point, but we're not in a crash. And we're not going to enter a crash because real estate, by and large, is very, very resilient. The only time real estate crashes is when Wall Street crashes and you have an enormous recession and lenders cannot lend. We saw that in the late 80s and we saw that 2008 and 9. We are not seeing it now because there is not a big subprime bubble out there. There's not a savings and loan crisis. There's no Wall Street crisis. The financial indices actually are fairly healthy. So um, what does this mean though to buyers? Well, buyers who are taking a wait and see attitude, understandable, but now's your chance. If you are a buyer going into the cyclical slowdown of autumn, uh, with the market conditions starting to tilt and cool off, now is the time that you uh, should buy if that is in fact what your lifestyle calls for. I have never been a proponent of advising people to buy just because interest rates were at 3%. Uh, real estate is uh, not just an investment. It behaves like an investment, but it is also shelter. Okay, so if you don't own real estate, you're renting it. So uh, do you want to build equity or do you want to uh, keep your options open with just the terms of a lease? That depends on your circumstances. So buyers now actually have an opportunity, the likes of which they have not seen in at least three or four years. Now, why am I saying that even though rates are 8%? Well, that higher rate may diminish the buyer's purchasing power, but it also destroyed the cartoonish seller market that was causing you to not even be able to take advantage in many circumstances, in many instances of with of uh, take advantage of 3% interest rates because you couldn't get your bid accepted. So buyers are no longer subject to uh, a clockwork-like bidding war. They are no longer being induced rank and file to waive inspection contingencies and waive mortgage contingencies. And we may, in fact, even see a market where the return of the seller concession is evident, where sellers are coming to the bargaining table to craft deals and make deals work to enable the buyers to actually close. So we are now entering a market that is going to enable buyers, even though their purchasing power is returning again to more of a normal range because historically speaking on 55 most of my life rates have been higher than eight percent um we only saw a brief flicker of time where they were below five percent 
and that time is, is over. So the good news for sellers is that the world hasn't ended. The good news for buyers is that even though the rates are higher, you have less competition and you have a more motivated seller to deal with. And as we see days on market increase, we will also see inventory increase. And that, my friends, is good for everybody because sellers are reticent to sell if they don't know where they're going to go. So sellers now know where they're going to be, go, be going with higher inventory and buyers will be able to uh, make a deal happen without having to sell their soul. Uh, that's the state of the market right now. Uh, the main, uh, main indication here is days on market. Values are holding steady. As things change, we will let you know. But right now, values are only being, uh, we're only seeing an adverse effect in uh, the West Coast. And that's just kind of a normal thing. That's where it hits first. Uh, good luck. And we're here if you need us.